welcome you to Minimi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching Mini Me. I appreciate all my subscribers. Today I thought I'd go ahead and make a video to show you guys how to refine your enchantments using your characters. Assuming that you got five, six, maybe ten characters, I'll show you how to go about. But let's say that you want to refine your weapon enchantments or just any other enchantments that belongs to you. Whether if it's your purple, your negation, your armor enchantment or just any other enchantments that you wish to get to rank 12. Today I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you guys. Follow my steps and you shall have no problem. First thing I want to talk about is how important it is if you have more than one character to pray every single day with them. If you noticed I only had one point there and now I have two. What I'm trying to say is that when you get a total of 11 points or coins or whatever you want to call them you collect the boxes that you see there above. In that box, you will have the chance to gain a Coalescent Ward. With the Coalescent Ward, you can use that, which will be bound to you, to get your artifact or to get any other enchantment, such as your armor, weapon enchantment, or just any other enchantment to rank 10, 11, or 12 without having to spend your money on the Zen Market. As you can see, I have a total of 40 boxes that I have collected, guys. When I open them, normally I would get one or two Coalescent Wards out of there if I'm lucky. You can get one coin for praying the first time, and then you get another coin for praying the very last time for the day, until the next day starts again. It takes a total of six days to collect a box, because you get two coins per day. If you have 10 characters, that is 10 boxes. Let's go ahead and pick Vorpal, which is a rank 10. Show you how to get it to rank 11 using nothing but my characters to refine it. And all the refines that I have, guys, all the RP, is technically from Prane that's been collecting over time. If you noticed, I've already got everything I need. The only thing that I need would be the superior marks of potency. You can purchase them in the auction house, which they're about 84,000. But if you have VIP, they are a lot cheaper at the Merchant, at the Proctors, or Protectors Enclave, or whatever you want to call it. Do you have so the superior marks of potency are only 75,000 here at the Merchant, but you have to have VIP. I appreciate you for sticking around. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. Let's talk about profession and your leadership. It should be maxed out. In order for you to collect these resin stones bags that you can use to refine your necklace, your belt, your artifact, or your artifact weapon enchantments. What I do is I collect the escort, the wizard. I also collect the boxes, guard the young noble, that looks like a chest, but I don't want to open them right now. The reason being is because it's not double enchantments. I only open those when it's double enchantments, so that way I can get double the rank 5s and double the rank 4s. Uh, and that's how I make AD, guys. Make sure you check the link on the description below. There's going to be a video, which is the second video that I'm releasing, that's going to show you guys how to make AD. The search is over. Enough with the talking. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to go about refining your artifacts using the stuff that you've collected by praying using the stuff that you've collected with your giant spider which I'll be talking to you more about that here in a little bit as well I am going to use everything that gives me RP why you may ask I simply don't need it my character is maxed out on everything else guys and once I get the Vorpal to rank 12 I'm probably gonna sell it in the auction house but before I do that what I'm first going to do is make a video, Vorpal versus Fate Touch, and you guys will know which one is better, and put it out there on YouTube for you guys to see the difference. Let that video be the end of all videos, so you guys can make a decision based on results.
If you noticed, I am not picking the stacks of 99. The reason being is because I'm going to be putting that in the auction house for sale, guys. So that way I can make some AD. Because I am low on AD, if you have noticed there in my inventory. I only got 178,000 as of right now. And why waste my stacks of 99 when I have 40 characters? The beauty about the enchantments, it is not bound to your character. So you can take it and circle it around between one character to the next. So you can use the RP from all of them. Fives. This drum slap is strong, guys. If you noticed, I am picking a lot of Paradox along with rank fives. Look at that, a Sharpie. Let's go ahead and smash and break their house over there. Jump in the fire. Ah. Let's do the drum slap. There we go. They got smashed. Another Paradox, guys. Another one. This is working to my favor tonight. Oh, he's trying to hurt me. Look at that, I got a green resin stone. If you have 10 characters, you can go through all of them and you'll be able to collect a lot of RP, guys. And again, you can take your enchantments and you can circle them around between your characters to refine them. Which I'll be showing you next here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and slap this guy. The good part about this map is that when you're done killing all the enemies, you can actually leave the map and go right back in again and start farming all over again. The enemies are super easy to kill and you'll get a ton of drops. Go ahead and request GM help, stuck on a mission, abort the mission, and it will put you right back where you started. There you have it. So now what we're gonna do is use the stuff that we just got to refine it. Before we do that, I just wanna go over really quick 
take a look and see what you need for your giant spider. These insemias are super cheap on the auction house. They don't have to be purple or blue. They can be green and they will work just as fine. All right, now that we have used all the refined points, what we're gonna do is pull up the bank, put the Vorpal in shared bank, and we're gonna go ahead and switch characters. Guys, pay attention, because I'm gonna go ahead and... astral diamonds to trade i appreciate it if you guys made it all the way here if you thought this video was helpful make sure you smash that like button for mini me also if you would like to know how i made that 8 million ad that you see there at the bottom make sure you check the description below there's a link which is part two how to make
and you miss my absence, share this video. Your love and support is greatly appreciated. And as always, I shall see you guys next time.